Good morning. And a really quick one this morning, looking at how to prepare a USB thumb drive in order to use it to update the system software on an Xbox One. And the reason you might want to do this is if you've already had an unsuccessful system update, or to put it another way, things have gone wrong. If you go to this page that I've got up now, and I'll put a link in the description so you can go and have a look at this page, it will walk you through various steps you need to do to get your system up and running again. But the, the step we're interested in today is purely setting up the USB drive. That's all we're interested in. If you're interested in the actual process of doing the update itself, let me know in the description and I can do a walkthrough of how to do that as well. But for now, we're just doing the USB drive. On this page, you'll have two options. It says, I need to troubleshoot a system update error, or I need to update my console offline. Now, the first one here, you would go through first. Once you've encountered problems, go through what it shows you here, try all the solutions, that might get you up and running. If it doesn't, then you'll need the second option. And as I say, that's the one we need now. So click on that. And it says, step two, perform an offline system update. And at the bottom here, it gives you two options. One is for the original Xbox One, and one is for the Xbox One S or Xbox One X. Ultimately, if you're going to be updating using a USB drive, you will basically follow the same procedure. But with the Xbox One, the original, you will have one step first that you can try. But ultimately, it'll take you to the same place. So let's just click on Xbox One S or Xbox One X and it takes you to step three, download the offline system update file. There's several things you need to take into account here. You'll need a Windows-based PC with an internet connection and a USB port, obviously, because you're using a USB drive. And you'll also need a USB flash drive with a minimum of four gig of space formatted as NTFS. Now, that's really important because if it's not formatted as NTFS, it's simply not going to work. You can try it as often as you like. You can put the files on there as often as you like. It's simply not going to work for you. What you will need to do, though, before you do anything else, is download the update file. Now, if you look at 2 here, it says open the offline system update file. Now, obviously, you can't open it before you've downloaded it. So you would need to click on here, OSU1 and then it would download it. Now, I've already downloaded it to the desktop, so I don't need to do it now. So let's just go to the desktop because we're done with this information here. And as I say, you can read it to your heart's content and it is worth looking at. So let's go to the desktop. As you see, I've got the Xbox update here. So I'm gonna double click on that. And you can see OSU1 zip, and that's what we're gonna need. But before we do that, we're going to need to format the USB drive. So let's just plug the USB drive in first and get that sorted. As you can see, the drive has come up and it's empty. However, it has got a name because I was using it as a boot drive for something or other, but it will need to be formatted. What you would do here, I can see the drive, but say you're on this PC, for instance, you can see the drive there. It should show up. Uh, obviously make sure that you're looking at the, the correct drive. You don't want to go formatting anything else. Should be fairly straightforward because it should be, as long as you haven't got any other USB drives plugged in, should be the smallest one there. So this one, it's empty and it's 29 gigs. So it's a, a 30 gig drive, I believe. If you right click on it and go down to format. And if you look on here, it's got various options. Capacity, you don't need to worry about that. File system, FAT32, default. So you're going to need to change that. And if you look here, you've got three options, NTFS, FAT32, default, and XFAT. And as I say, you will need NTFS if you're going to be using this on the Xbox. So select that. Everything else can be pretty much left as default. I'm just going to change this, just call it, I don't know, Xbox 
and you can call it anything you like or you can leave the label blank and then quick formats fine click on start warning formatting will erase all data on this disk to format the disk click OK to quick click cancel so we want to format it we don't want to uh, <laughs> cancel so let's format that and then we just wait for it to format and it says format complete so we can close that down now and if we go back into it right click and we do properties you can see on here you've got USB drive file system NTFS so that's what we want so we can cancel out of that and double click the drive so as you see the drive is there with nothing in it so next thing you want is the OSU1 zip file and that should be where you've downloaded it to as I say I'll just shut that, this down I've downloaded it to the desktop obviously you need to take a note of where you've downloaded it to and then just open the folder where it is and then right click on the zip file and select extract all and then you would extract that and it will put it directly back into the folder where you've got the file so as you can see OSU1 just wait for that to extract completely okay so that's extracted and it's actually opened up the folder that it's gone into and if you can see in the folder we've got dollar sign system update now let's just quickly go back to here it says copy the system update file uh, the zip file to your flash drive sorry from the zip file to your flash drive so this file here system update needs to be copied directly to your flash drive and it says note the files should be copied to the root directory and there shouldn't be any other files on the drive so it has to be completely empty apart from this one file so let's just go back to the desktop and open up these two should be the right ones so those let's just get the USB drive back up there you go that's the USB drive and what you would need to do is the system update file just needs to be transferred across to your USB drive and we'll just wait for that to copy across okay so it's now all gone across and as you can see in the USB drive we've got nothing in it apart from system update and if we double click it we can see the files but we don't need to do anything with those it's all ready to go all we have to do now is right click and eject and remove the USB drive from the computer and take it to the Xbox and we should be all ready to do the update and as I say if you're interested in watching me do the update itself I can do a video about that as well so let me know in the comments but as I say this one is just for setting up the USB drive hopefully that will have helped someone because I know these things can be a bit of a pain at times and I've done things and not read through and found that you know these things I've missed so as I say that's that done and I'm going to go and get myself a cup of tea like I usually do. And I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Bye.